This is Pastor Richard, and you are watching Hymnal 101 with Higher Things. As you continue to page through your hymnal, you will come across the Psalms. And yes, you will see those Psalms and say, man, this is great to have the Psalms a part of the hymnal. But one of the things you might find very peculiar and odd is as you look at those Psalms, there are going to be these different markings. Yes, these markings. You see these like lines in the middle of the text and these little asterisks all over the place. Now, what on earth is going on? Are these secret markings for the pastor or what? Well, it's very simple, my friends. These are markings to help you, yes, you and me, sing the Psalms. Yes, sing the Psalms. Let me point this out and show you exactly what's going on here on this next screen. As you can see, uh, in our hymnal, we have different tunes. Uh, we have tunes A through all the way down to K, different tunes with different uh, notes. Uh, the one I like uh, most particular is going to be tune C, mainly because it's the easiest to sing. It's this one right here, uh, kind of hidden behind my frame. And it sounds like this. It goes... Da, 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 da. Now, if you can see closely on our screen, uh, there's a break in the measure here, and there's an asterisk right above it. And they also start off with whole notes. So you have a whole note that you hold, and then you drop down to these eighth notes, and then back to a quarter note. And then you have that line with that asterisk. Now, what on earth is going on? Let me hold on here. Let me show you exactly. Let's pick a psalm that we all know fairly well. Let's pick Psalm 23. As we can see in Psalm 23, we have the Lord is my, and then we have a line, shepherd, and then the asterisk. So what happens is this, this is where the whole note is, the Lord is my whole note, and then that line indicates that we shift to those, yes, those eighth notes in that quarter note. And then the asterisk indicates that we shift to that new measure. So it sounds like this, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, see how that works? He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. So you have the whole note until you hit that line, and then you switch to those, I guess, those eighth notes and that quarter note until you hit the asterisk, and then you go to the next measure, and you do it all over again. And the beautiful thing as we think about this is that there are all these different tunes that we can sing to. All these different tunes that we can sing to, we have A through K, and we can take those different tunes and apply them to the Psalms and sing the Psalms, um, all the different Psalms with different tunes. Now, with respect to the tunes, one of the things I've found very helpful is to download a free piano app here on my phone and then just simply type in those notes for those of you who know a little bit of piano. But nonetheless, it is easy to sing. It's wonderful to sing. Those tunes are there for you to sing. Again, I like the tune C. It's the easiest to sing, uh, but they're just wonderful to clothe these scriptures with music. And that's something to think about is that the music, it actually wraps and clothes the beauty of God's word as we sing it together. So this is Hymnal 101 with Higher Things, and we'll catch you next time.